Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be sharing how I prep four different parts of our Christmas dinner in advance so that it means on Christmas day you can just have a much more relaxing and chilled out day knowing that everything is ready to just pop in the oven. I'm going to be using these little silicon freezer bags today. They're absolutely amazing. They come in a pack. I'll link them down below. They have lots of different sizes in the pack which means you can find the right size for anything that you are prepping. Today I'm going to be showing you how I prep my gravy, my carrots and my parsnips, my potatoes, as well as a really delicious sprout recipe. I really hope you find this video useful and that you can prep in advance to, like I said, make Christmas even more special. Thank you so much for watching and let's get cooking. Right, so let's prep our gravy. So let me explain what's in here first of all. At the weekend, we had people over for a roast. I bought two chickens and then once we have carved them, I put the carcasses and any kind of like fatty bits of meat or anything like that into my instant pot. And then I just topped it up with some water that almost covered the carcass, but not quite. And then I also had some celery left over that I just diced up and chucked in here. I pressure cooked this for 20 minutes to make a really delicious bone broth. This is going to be the base of my gravy, but you can just use stock cubes if you'd prefer. Um, so you could use veggie stock cubes and make this all a veggie gravy, completely up to you and whatever you'd prefer. So what I have got in here is a generous knob of butter. I have got some thyme and some rosemary. These are quite young sort of thyme rosemary sprigs. So I'm gonna include the stalks and everything into here to give it maximum flavor. I have got some cooking wine. I've got some mushrooms and then also this little soup mix. So in here you have onions, carrots and celery and this is going to just give your soup a really nice base. And then I've also got some corn flour for thickening up. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to get my knob of butter onto the hob and once that's melted down I'm going to add in all of this soup mix as well as my sliced mushrooms and I'm just going to saute those off so they almost kind of char a little bit on the bottom of the pan. This is just going to give so much flavour. Once I've done that I will then add a little bit of white wine as well as a good few sprigs of my thyme and rosemary before adding in a little bit of corn flour and then my chicken broth that I made up earlier. I'm going to let that simmer on a low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes so all of those delicious flavours combined together. After the 15 minutes, I'm then ready to blitz this down. Now I'm gonna keep everything in here so that my gravy is really nice and thick. I think the best thing about a gravy is that it has to be thick. So if you strain it and lose all of these textures, you're then going to make your gravy a lot thinner. Once it's been blitzed down, it's then ready to set aside and cool. And once it's cooled, you're then ready to pop it into either a freezer bag or a Tupperware and then straight into your freezer. You just pull this out on Christmas Eve and your gravy will be ready to heat through on Christmas Day. Right, next up we're going to prep our parsnips and our carrots. So how I like to prep this is I actually always buy carrots that sort of look a little bit like this and I don't peel my carrots. That might be a little bit controversial, but I just feel like it's really time saving not peeling them, but I do peel my parsnips. And as you can see, I haven't bought as many parsnips as carrots because these aren't as popular in our family. So what I've got to go with that is some whole grain mustard. I've got some honey and some salt as well. And then I have got another one of these little freezer bags too, which is a great size to fit all of this in. So I'm not actually, going to pre-cook these. I'm just prepping them with all of the nice kind of like flavors on top of it so that when it comes to Christmas day, I can just chuck these into a baking dish and then put them into the oven to cook. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're going to peel our parsnips, but we're not going to peel our carrots. We're just gonna to top and tail them. Once that's all prepped, you're then ready to just slice your carrots in half as they're quite long, and then also slice them down the middle too. This means that you've got loads of carrots, but they're also kind of big enough to have a decent kind of crunch to it. And then with your parsnips, I'm going to cut these ones into four. If you have bigger parsnips, maybe cut them a few more times. 
Then in a big mixing bowl, I'm just going to add two heaped teaspoons of my whole grain mustard and five tablespoons of your honey, as well as a generous amount of salt. Mix everything together and then you want to pop them straight into your freezer bag and make sure you scrape your bowl out so you're getting all of those yummy flavors and the almost marinade into your freezer bag too. And that is literally your carrots and parsnips prepped. Like I said, pop them straight into your freezer. So what you can do with these is you can either take them out of the freezer on Christmas Eve and let them defrost, or to make it even easier for you, you can cook these straight from frozen too. So next up, we're going to be prepping our roast potatoes. So I've already peeled loads of potatoes, as you can see. I like to kind of work on the quantities of having between four and five little roasts once they have been cut up per person. Then I have got some garlic here. I've got a whole bulb and what I've just done to this is I've just kind of rubbed it like this to take off any kind of like loose um, skin. Is that the right word? <laughs> or, you know, this outer kind of layer on it. I've just rubbed off the, the loose stuff. I've got some goose fat, and then I've also got the same time that I used for my gravy too. So what I'm gonna do to make these is I'm just going to parboil them before I put them into my freezer. So I'm gonna cut them up into the um, roasty size that I want. And like I said, I'm gonna do between four and five little roasties per person. And then going to get them into a pot of water and bring that up to the boil until they have gone soft on the outside, but they're not quite soft all the way through. You want them to have a little bit of resistance when you put the knife in, but you want them to be soft enough on the outside so that when you um, drain them and like mix them around in your pot, they're gonna kind of just fluff on the outside. So once your potatoes have got to kind of that consistency, you can then drain your water off and then you want to pop in your goose fat as well as your thyme and your garlic bulb as a bowl, but you're gonna cut it just down the middle. This is just going to make sure that all those yummy garlic flavors are going to mix in with the potatoes. As you can see, the potatoes now have a really kind of fluffy exterior to them. Your potatoes are now ready to pop straight into your freezer bag and then once again into your freezer. These again, like your carrots, can be cooked from frozen, but I do just like to take them out on Christmas Eve to defrost them and then they're ready to pop into some boiling hot goose fat and in your oven for 50 minutes on 200 degrees centigrade. Right, so today we are making the controversial Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. When I was younger, my mum always made me have one every time it was Christmas day, and now I've just grown to absolutely love them. So this recipe I'm sharing with you is actually just half the recipe. You do need to finish it off on Christmas day because you need to use some fresh cream in here. So what I have got is obviously my sprouts, and I've also, instead of getting lardons, because I feel like lardons are a little bit fatty at times. So I have got this really nice streaky bacon. This is actually the same bacon that I use on my turkey as well. So what I'm gonna do first of all is just cut my bacon into little pieces first of all, and I'm then going to get them into a frying pan and I'm going to fry them on a medium heat for quite a long time. You want to make sure these are really nice and crispy. While that's frying off, I'll then just take my sprouts off of the branch and as they come straight from the branch, you don't need to cut the bases off. So I do find this is a little bit quicker than if you get the sprouts in a bag. I just like to cut my sprouts in half and then just take off any loose or damaged leaves. You're not going to cook your sprouts first of all because as you reheat this on Christmas day, your sprouts will cook through, but it will mean they still have a little bit of a crunch to them. So once you have halved your sprouts, you're then ready to pop them into your freezer bag. And by this time, your bacon will be really nice and crispy. You can then add your cooked bacon into your freezer bag too, making sure you also add in all of those delicious fats that have come off your bacon too. That is really going to give this dish some flavor. Now your sprouts are ready to go into the freezer. And then on Christmas day, all you need to do with these is get them back into the frying pan, heat everything through, make sure your sprouts are cooking a little bit before adding in 50-50 quantities of double cream and veggie stock. You need to add about 80 ml of each of these ingredients. Carry on heating this through and then they are ready to serve. So those are the four Christmas recipes that I wanted to share with you today. If you would like me to show you any more Christmas prep, then please just comment down below and I will try to make those videos as quickly as possible before Christmas. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.